So most people who've got bad psoriasis or eczema that isn't responding to creams will go on to have a course of light treatment. And the part of sunlight that we use is called um, narrowband UVB. That's different from the uh, sunbed light that, you'll, um, that you could have on the high street. So if you have used high street sunbeds to try and treat psoriasis or eczema, you might have noticed a modest response with that. But hospital-based light treatment with UVB is much more likely to work. So uh, how likely is it that the, the phototherapy will work? And, and how long will it take me to get better? If you've got eczema, studies show that about 70% of people with eczema have a good response to light treatment. Um, psoriasis, it's similar, probably between 60 to 75% of people with psoriasis will have a, a good response or will clear um, after a course of light treatment. Uh, it's a slow acting treatment. You're coming either two or three times a week for several months. So there will be a very, very gradual improvement over that period. And are there any people uh, who can't have light treatment? And also, uh, are there any side effects? So there are very few side effects of the treatment. Very, very, very occasionally people might get an episode of sunburn, but we've got a way of dosing it so that that is very unlikely. Um, in terms of long-term side effects, if you had a massive amount of light treatment in your life, multiple courses, and there would be a slight increase in risk of certain skin cancers. So we only give a certain number of courses in a lifetime to make that, that risk negligible. In terms of who's suitable for the treatment, there are some people that it's not suitable for. Um, the first and most obvious one is attending hospital regularly. Um, the treatments, usually we do 24 treatments. So that's 24 separate visits to hospital over a few months. Um, so if your work... Um, or the distance that you live away um, is a factor there, then it may be that light treatment is just not practical. And then there are some medical problems that might stop you having light treatment. There are certain conditions where you're actually sun sensitive. Probably the most common one is called lupus, and that will be a reason to never have light treatment. Um, if you had a, a history in yourself of skin cancers or were very sun damaged um, from past sun exposure, uh, then we may we may not use light treatment. Um, and then there are certain drugs that you might be on that might sensitise your skin to sunlight. The commonest one is an antibiotic called doxycycline. But there are a few other drugs that, that your doctor will check with you before you begin light treatment that could cause problems if you took them while you were having light treatment. So could, could you give me a sort of overall feel? Because there's there's different options for treatment, an overall feel of the pros and cons of light treatment versus the other thing? Most people would try light treatment before they went on a tablet or injectable drug um, for their eczema or psoriasis because you're not putting anything in the body. So really the, the, the side effects are less of light treatment if you're comparing it to a drug. Um, in terms of overall pros and cons, probably the, the biggest con is the fact that you've got the, these multiple visits over several months, um, that it's, you know, the time commitment is the biggest negative. Um, the flip side of the coin, really, in terms of the, the pros are the visits are very quick. Um, you're in the light for seconds rather than the minutes that you might be for high street sunbeds. Um, and first of all, most people do get better with the treatment, but the biggest pro of the treatment is that it's really quite common for people to remain good um, or clear of their skin disease for quite a few months after they stop treatment. So what, what are the practicalities of getting an appointment for, for, for light treatment? And I mean, you just talked about the practicalities of what happens, but is there anything else during the visits for light treatment? So there are... If you agree to have light treatment, there are a few bits of information other than background medical information that, that we would require of you. Um, we would need to know whether you, in sunlight, were likely to burn commonly or likely to tan or a mixture of both. If people burn very badly and almost never tan, then that might be a reason to avoid light treatment. And also we would no need to know your time preference for coming for treatment. The department's open from about 8 in the morning and shuts about 4 p.m. Some people prefer an early appointment. Some people 
Um, for example, if you're a retired, might prefer a time that's outside of rush hour. Some people like to come during the lunch hour. So we would need you to think about that and specify when you would rather come. Um, other practicalities, the first visit, we usually do not treat you, but we do a sensitivity test where we shine a small amount of light onto your forearm to see um, how sensitive you are to sunlight. And we use that to help um, decide on the dosing. Right, OK. Well, what would happen when I stop treatment? Could, could I have another course? So when you stop treatment, as I mentioned, that, that it's quite likely you'll have a prolonged response. Not everybody does respond, but most people who do will stay good for about an average of three months. But occasionally you'll see people who um, improve for much longer than that, six months or even a few years. Um, so what happens really depends on how quickly it takes for your skin problem to come back. Um, and people who respond well to light and get a good period of of being clear, for example, at least six months, might then be eligible to have a course of light um, repeatedly in the future. And we have a rule that it's usually about one year in between courses of light. So what we, what we would tend to do is discharge everybody from treatment unless they'd fail to respond completely, in which case you could come back and discuss other therapies like drugs. Um, but if, if the light treatment caused clearance, then we would discharge you and then we would ask GPs to refer you back and potentially for multiple courses of light treatment over several years if it was working well. And as a rough rule of thumb, we say that between five and ten total courses of light in your lifetime it is safe. OK, OK. Thank you very much.